from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Wednesday, December the 16th, 2020. Israel will begin administering coronavirus vaccine this weekend. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu will lead the vaccination campaign, receiving his shot Saturday night. The Prime Minister tweeted a video in Hebrew saying, I asked to be the first vaccinated to set an example and convince you that you can get vaccinated and need to get vaccinated. Mari reports that Health Minister Yuli Edelstein will also be vaccinated Saturday night, with the vaccinations of Netanyahu and Edelstein being reported on live with cameras present to encourage the Israeli public to follow suit. Israel's President Reuven Rivlin will receive his vaccine on Sunday at Hadassah Hospital in Kerem, Jerusalem. Rivlin's spokesperson also said that his visit to Hadassah is intended to be a salute to medical teams and their noble work during the coronavirus pandemic throughout the country. The deadline for Israel's government to pass its state budget is this coming Wednesday, December the 23rd, which means if it is not passed by midnight on Tuesday, the Knesset will dissolve, prompting a call for yet another round of elections in the country. At present, the chances for the budget passing before the deadline to avert this outcome remains unclear. Fourteen accomplices of the French Islamist terrorists behind two deadly terror attacks in Paris in 2015 were found guilty today. The attacks were at the Charlie Hebdo magazine headquarters and at the Hypercaché kosher supermarket. Reuters reports that a French court handed down the ruling today, which included the sentencing of 30 years to the main defendant convicted of complicity. Twelve people were murdered at the magazine headquarters on January the 7th of 2015, and the following day, four people were killed at the kosher supermarket, all Jewish, Johan Cohen, Philippe Brahm, Yoav Hatab, and Francois-Michel Saada. An icon in the Israeli theater scene has died. Yaakov Agamon founded the Bimot Theater in the early 60s, and the renowned Beit Lessing Theater in the late 70s. He also served as director of Israel's National Theater, Habima, and was a beloved radio personality. Agmon won the Israeli Theater Award for Lifetime Achievement in 2007 and was married to leading Israeli actress Gila Almagor. President Rivlin wrote of Agmon, he created and curated for us an Israeli historical cultural mosaic that will remain with us for generations to come. The Netherlands will name a new national coordinator to fight anti-Semitism following an increase in anti-Semitic incidents there. A national anti-Semitism coordinator will take office next year, according to the Ministry of Justice and Security, to strengthen the approach to discrimination, threats and intimidation against the Jewish community. Justice Minister Ferdinand Grapperhaus, who is also Minister of Religious Affairs, said at a Hanukkah celebration Sunday night, this is not a battle we should leave to the Jewish community alone. Well, Florida residents can show their support of Israel on their license plates. Graphic designer Daniel Ackerman came up with the winning design for the plate, which states Florida stands with Israel. It was chosen from some 100 submissions in a competition sponsored by the Israeli American Council. Ackerman said of his design, the beauty of this flower contrasted against the Star of David in the form of a tropical leaf represents the Florida-Israel relationship and the fruit this partnership bears, ultimately benefiting both states. Some of the proceeds from the plate will go to Hatsala of Miami-Dade Volunteer Paramedics. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Wednesday, December the 16th, 
At 7 o'clock, Daniel Gordas explains the reasons he still believes in the two-state solution and talks about why some American Jews have grown distant from Israel. At 8, Sarah Hurwitz describes her experiences as a speechwriter for President Barack Obama. At 9 tonight, Mark Golub speaks with former Knesset member Dove Lipman, who discusses the omissions and distortions in Obama's chapter on Israel and the history of Israeli-Palestinian conflict in his autobiography, A Promised Land, in a special 90-minute L'Chaim tonight. At 10.30, it's a replay of the lighting of the seventh candle here on JBS with Tova Felchu. And coming up next, Micah Halpern discusses the rarely reported on cooperation between Arabs and Jews in Israel, the essence of the Israel-UAE agreement, and Napoleon's relationship with the Jews of France. And that's the JBS News update for Wednesday, December the 16th, 2020. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well, and Chag Sameach.